Hi everyone, this is Menz here, playing the Tier 5 Japanese battleship, the Congo, here on Fault Line. Um, the Congo doesn't have a lot of armor protecting it, like most battleships. And going in knowing that is very important, because your Citadel does not have a lot of armor to be able to um, save you from shots and protect you. Basically, if you're, it's a very fast battleship, but at the cost of protection. So I'm going to be heading to the A side of the map. With domination you need at least two points. But compared to the previous battleship, the Myogi, Congo, a lot more anti-aircraft capabilities. You have a little spotter plane that will help you spot destroyers and other um, incoming ships that you might not see. And definitely has a lot more firepower to it. But as you progress up the tiers in domination, you really want to focus on just two um, domination points, in my opinion. Just holding on to my little plane for now, though. Oh god, this guy's... why the fuck is he slowing down? Either he doesn't have the top propulsion system, or he is going slow on purpose. Send a little plane up for the hell of it. Ooh crap, they're coming for me. Or not. They just were very poorly aimed. The hell, I'll take a shot. And it looks like I led him a little too much. I did hit him now. Took out one of his turrets. Always use AP and battleships. HE isn't worth swapping over to unless you're shooting a aircraft carrier. He doesn't seem to be trying to dodge the Okay, so I'm just gonna start turning out to the right here a little bit. I led him a little too much though and missed. Can almost hit the independence there. Uh, it'd be nice if I was close enough to hit him. Yeah, it looks like it's close. I might have been off on the distance. Yeah, a little too far. At least I hit him once, but still didn't really do any damage. So I'm going to start turning right here to keep my distance from these cruisers and the destroyer. And hopefully that hits him. Oh, he just dodged them. He's getting pretty damn close though, he's really risking things here. Our team has taken the lead. But he's definitely 
decent player for knowing to dodge. Yeah, that was a big hit. That's why you use AP. AG is nice, but AP does the damage. See if I can get one more good hit on him. Yep, there we go. Even though I missed with the last couple rounds. I've got to stop, start turning here, which is going to suck for my main guns, but I don't want to go too far towards the edge of the map. He's getting a little too close for comfort to our aircraft carriers, too. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. Those torpedoes are definitely an issue. It's going to slow down a little bit. Just to make me not run into him by chance. I'm pretty close to hitting him. I let him a little too much again, but I did get a pretty good shot on his citadel. If I can hit this Congo, he doesn't have a ton of HP if I can get a good hit on his Citadel. Doesn't look like I let him enough though. Alright, so I gotta start turning again. Our carrier vessels are behind me, so I can't just abandon them. Actually, let me get a hit on this Omaha first. Now I'm going to start turning back. And I missed. I thought he was going to turn a little sharper than that. I'm kind of surprised that their independence is in the middle like that. But I'm really the only one over here between the enemy and the aircraft carrier, so I'm going to stay on this side. Might not get me the most damage, but we can't lose them. But we're so far ahead, we're probably going to win anyway. Time to get a little closer in. Is 
the independence back there again. Hopefully that seems about right. Yeah, hit him there. He's starting to turn now. He's taking a ton of fire. He's still focused on me though, so I gotta still be careful. Originally for me, he's not very good at aiming yet. Nice hits in there on the Citadel. And now we're going to tear each other apart with secondaries. Don't want him to ram me, so I'm keeping my distance still. But I'm going to start by trying to turn around him. Just to set up my next shot. And coincidentally, that ended the match. Be nice if we could get going, but domination, usually you don't destroy all enemy ships before it ends if you play the objectives. It's overall a pretty decent match. Nothing exciting, but that's kind of how battleships are played. Most amount of experience, you keep your distance from your enemy, you use your range to outrange cruisers, destroyers, and you basically fight against enemy battleships because they're the main ones capable excuse me, capable of hitting you. So overall, I used basically all AP shells. Did 54,000 damage, and my secondaries did a pretty decent amount of damage to finish off that Congo. I knew by then, with the long reloads, just close in and my secondaries can start pounding away at them. And as far as damage received, I received more of the HE. I'm pretty sure that was the... Congo shooting at me, or no, it was probably the cruiser shooting at me, and the AP shells the Congo might have been trying. I don't know. But either way, thanks for watching this battle. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my website, mensgaming.com slash world of warships to keep up to date with new world of warships content. Thanks for watching again.